yet the missiles that flew over Aramo on August 29 and September 15 created an eerie threat, no one saw or heard them. They streaked by several hundred kilometers above land, too high to see with the naked eye, before splashing into the Pacific more than 1,000 kilometers, 600 miles, to the east. When it's launched, it could land here just moments later, she said. There's nowhere to hide. They promised in 1994 and again in 2005 that they would abandon their nuclear program. But they have broken their word and developed nuclear devices and missiles, Abe said at a campaign rally last week. We're not going to be deceived anymore. Fire one back right now, no one's better than Abe, said Satoru Narita, a 72-year-old fisherman. Next time they launch one, I'd almost like to see us fire one back, he said. We can live in peace and safety. But Haruki Suminoya, head of Aramo's fishing union, cautioned that being overly aggressive could provoke North Korea into lashing out. The recent war of words between Trump and North Korea unsettled many residents, who pointed out they were a much closer target than the United States. So far, it seems that Abe is winning over voters. Nationwide polls show the LDP is headed for a big win this weekend. Revising Constitution but Shinto priest Hirotaka Tezuka, 39, said the constitution had grown outdated. We need a constitution that's better suited to the present era. Town officials said they have not taken any particular precautionary steps following the recent missile launches, nor do they plan any duck and cover drills that have been held elsewhere. The town has loudspeakers on 50 tall poles to broadcast warnings for tsunamis, typhoons, and now missiles. In recent months, they have installed wireless units in 1,500 of the 2,200 homes so people can hear them when they are indoors. Aramo also has emergency stocks of food, water, and other supplies, the mayor said. That's particularly important for Aramo because it is linked to the rest of Hokkaido by only one coast-hugging road, which gets closed several times a year due to heavy rains or massive waves. Local fishermen are nervous about North Korea's warning that it might conduct a hydrogen bomb test over the Pacific, which they worry would contaminate the water like the Fukushima nuclear disaster did in 2011. The radiation would make all the fish inedible, said Narita, the elderly fisherman. Like in Fukushima, we couldn't do our jobs. The town's dwindling fishing industry has already been hit hard by a plunge in the salmon catch as well as by a dearth of youngsters to take over the trade. We're a fishing town, said NATO, so if we can't catch fish anymore, we're finished.